Hey guys, now I'm going to show you how to extend your canvas using the Content Aware Fill tool. Um, there's lots of ways you can extend your canvas. I find this to be the simplest way, um, especially if you have a relatively simple background as we do here with the sky. Um, another instance where this works really well is in newborn photography, um, studio newborn photography, or anytime you're using a bean bag. If you want to try and extend the blanket that you've laid the baby on to have a nice minimalistic look to your photo, this is a great tool for that as well. So to use this after bringing the image into Photoshop, I'm just going to click on the crop tool. Um, right now it's trying to crop to a 5 by 4 ratio, which is, which is actually what I probably want to do for this image. Um, but I'm going to just kind of show you how to do that otherwise. So we're just going to hit clear. An example of when you might want to do this would be if the client requests the image to print it in a size other than how you photographed it and you don't want to lose any detail. So you can see here I shot it as a 4x6. If the client requested an 8x10, I'm going to lose a lot of the water or details on the side, and which might be fine. But if I didn't want to do that, my other alternative is to extend the sky and um, extend the image upward to meet that but that 8 by 10 ratio. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my screen a little small. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and just drag this up to the size that I that I think I want it. Um, you know, we'll just go with that and we're going to extend the sky there. I can also type in the ratio here if I want 8 by 10. Um, and that's how much sky I need to fill in for an 8 by 10 ratio without losing anything on the sides. So once I've done that, all I have to do is hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and try and fill in that area um, with sky based on the data it receives from around it. And this looks really good. You, there's still a little cleanup I'd probably want to do here. One thing I forgot to mention is before you hit enter, make sure this content aware box is checked. So it actually tries to, to fill in that area. Now if I want to clean this up just a little bit further, I can use this patch tool that we talked about a couple steps earlier, and that should smooth this out nicely. So I'm just going to go ahead and, oops, I'm going to just go ahead and grab these areas that look a little funky to me and try and smooth those out. This looks a little funny in the corner there, and just grab those. And that looks really good. I, I don't really think there's much more that's necessary to do. Um, and we're good to go. So all I'm going to do now is save that image back down to Lightroom. And my client, I can go ahead and, and print this as a nice 8x10 for my client.